One of the earliest definitions of magic is the art of influencing events and producing marvels using hidden natural forces. I know that most people don't believe in magic, but what if I told you that we all perform magic simply by speaking and writing words? As if the world wasn't bizarre enough as it is, you will now learn that the words we choose to use in our everyday thoughts have magical elements to them, and you are casting spells when you speak and write. It is the art of directing and controlling energy with a spoken word. Words that transform into frequencies and vibrations that can be used to direct energy. Numbers have magical elements also. In fact, the numeral and alphabet system were created based on sacred geometry and sacred sound, and therefore, numbers and letters have magical properties to them. The art of magic is often practiced with certain sacred magnetic words. These sound tones have powerful vibrational patterns, which are used to direct and control energy, and allows you to harness its power if you know what you are doing. Sound is one of the natural forces used by nature to create crystalline structures and sacred geometries, which are some of the building blocks of matter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In most cultures, the Word is equated with God. The world and the Word are only an hell apart. God created the world with the Word. The Watchers, the fallen angels, that were cast out of heaven by God, dominate and control this world by using hidden magical forces. The world is being dominated by magical forces. Until you learn how magic is being used to control you, you will never know how the world really works. One example is through the careful construction of the English language designed and put together in a way that produces magical effects and can manipulate those who are unaware of the word's true meaning. A very handy tool for those who wish to control you. Here is a great example of how words are used to cast spells without us even being aware of it, by Laurel Erica. We awake each morning and go off during the weekdays to earn a living at various jobs and undertakings until we come to the weekend. This seems perfectly acceptable to most people, but remember that a wake is a social gathering associated with death held before a funeral. Mourning is a state you are in grief over someone's death, and you would have to be in a weak daze to earn a living, since urns are for the ashes of the dead. We call our jobs undertakings. The word also can mean the profession of funeral management. The word job is a Hebrew word for persecuted. We get the weak end of the deal as we become weak end ourselves. We are not taught this form of magic because it has been hidden from us by the kings and rulers of this world, from our past and our present. The purpose of this is to prevent you from knowing the true intention of language and the powers that we all truly possess inside. The dark forces have been controlling people's life perceptions using magical spells for a very long time now. 
Their magic spells cannot control 100% of your mind, but they do affect your mind more than you may realize. Just like how subliminal message can affect your subconscious to a large degree. When you speak or write words, you are casting your thoughts and vibrations into the Earth's magnetic field, or magic field, or ether, which is the energy field that helps create and shape your reality of Earth. If you are not careful with what you say or think, you can actually cast a spell without even being aware of it. Have you ever wondered why one of the first things they teach you to do in school is learn how to spell? You are taught the alphabet and how to count numbers, which are designed using sacred geometry and sacred sound. These letters and numbers are ideograms, which are written symbols that represent ideas. After learning the alphabet, you are taught how to spell using the letters of the alphabet. Why do you think they call it spelling? Because you are casting spells when you speak or write. After learning how to spell words, you are taught to cast those spellings into sentences. The term sentence in law refers to punishment. For example, when you curse or use swear words, you are creating and directing your negative energy and that could lead to many negative outcomes, such as violence, emotional suffering, anxiety, and many other harmful situations. And that's why they call it cursing, because you are casting a spell with those cursing words that cut like a sword. On the other hand, when you say or think positive and loving words, you are creating and directing a positive loving energy. When you say the words, I love you, or I think you're a wonderful...